Hi friends, in this video, let's talk about lookup function in the Power BI. So the word lookup is very familiar to the business intelligence technologies. So we have same uh, functionality in SSIS and in SSRS and Power BI as well. But here, instead of using direct lookup word, we will be using a word of related. So related is a function which will help us to fetch the column from a different tables into the current table. Let me show you how to use a related function or related keyword in uh, our uh, Power BI reports. So in our scenario, so let me show you what are all the tables I am planning to use. So le first let me connect to the data sources. Let me read the data from the SQL server. Connect to the SQL server. Here my server name is dot SQL dot slash SQL 2012. It's a common. Let's click on OK. Yeah, let's uh, my database name is C sharp. Here I will be selecting two tables em employee and the department. If you see my employee table contains employee ID, first name, last name, gender, SSN, salary, department number, location and department. And the other table is department, which are of having department number, name and building. So these are all the two tables which I am planning to use for my example. It may take a while to load that data into our Power BI in memory and it purely depends on the size of the data. So let it load. Yeah, now the loading is completed. So now let me show you how to use a lookup. First, what is the need of lookup? So if you go to the employee table, so if you see the data in the employee table, so these are all the list of columns. Let me select employee. Yeah, so these are all the list of columns which I have in the employee table. Employee ID, first name, last name, gender, SSN, salary, department number and location. So now, if you see, I have a relation between the department table and employee table. Because department uh, uh, number is in, there in the common two tables. So department number here, department number here. I can see once I hover it, it automatically selects the uh, relation between these two columns. What are all the columns? Uh, the common in between these two tables okay so now so rather than like it to generate any a visualization i need to use one column from the department table one column from the employee table so to avoid that what i'll do is i'll use a lookup or related function so now so once i use a related function i don't need to use a department table to generate my visualization because that value is coming directly from the employee table only employee data set only now let me show you how to do that. So here I'll add a new column, so which I'll read that column value from the department table. So it automatically takes department number as an input from employee table and it gets the department name from the department table. So let me show you how to do that. So this is the uh, data view of a employee. Now let's click on a new column. So once you click on a new column, yeah, it comes a new column like this with empty and here you can add a column name as a department name. So department name. So now what is the value I need to pull? I need to pull the name column from the department table. So now let me use that. As I told, I need to use a related function of what field I need to read department name because my power bi is intelligent and it automatically takes the department number as an input and it it gives the department name as output let's select that let's close the parenthesis so this is the syntax of the related function it returns the value means with respect to the current row so let us say the department name is going to vary row to row it takes department number as an input let us see if you see 4001 is technical, 4002 is non-technical and 4003 is admin, next one is facilities. So respect to value it is a picking, it's not a hard coded value is showing, it is picking the respected value from the department table and it is, it is showing the correct department name. So now 
now my employee data set is ready to generate a visualization now i don't need to go to the department table to generate any visualization because i have a department name directly in my employee data set now let me go to the design so let's take any visualization so if i go here let me increase the size first so if you see here let me take a salary so as of now i have only one salary so that's the reason why it is showing one bar now let me say department name so once i select the department name so it will be showing the department wise salary let me increase the styles if you want okay so now this is x-axis and y-axis also i can put something and uh, okay so this is how i am going to see now if you see the technical uh, side uh, department name is non-technical the total salary is so one nine four triple zero like this so if you want a data labels on the top of the uh, visualization you can enable still those let's go here select the visualization and do some uh, settings on the visualization side let's enable the data labels let me increase see still you can see that now let me increase the size of the font yeah you can see now c22 so this is how let me minimize this so now you can see this so this is how you can see them a department wise the uh, total salary so means now i am pulling this information only from the employee data set because employee data set indirectly reading the value from the department table okay so this is how we implement a lookup so it is ideally lookup only but we will be doing with a related function so let me show you that if you want again related so this related function is the one which will help us to pull the value from the other data set now let me go back to the design and let me increase the font size of the title so if you see where is the title yeah let me increase this if you want to change you can change the title here even so you can put it as a middle if you want i kept it as a middle now if you want to change the font color you can do that and you can increase the font uh, color as well salary by department name if you want to you can increase the uh, more or like you can change the font to some this color and that uh, whatever the color you want and background color also you can change if you want so this is how we do set up um, a styles to the uh, visualization so if you want you can convert that to the uh, tabular as well so this is a tabular if you see this department wise uh, uh, salary let me increase again uh, 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 column headers and this side so i don't need to design again a table if you uh, unfortunately if you design visualization you can easily convert that into a table okay that flexibility we have that is the beauty of uh, power bi now let me increase the size of this so that i can easily see So this is how i can see so if you want to uh, sort it you have a sort facility as well so even you can do this sorting as well so this is how i'll implement a, a lookup and a, a visualizations in the power bi so you can you can use any of the visualization you can do that there are multiple visualizations here you can use that to generate a chart still if you see the uh, relation here still i have a department name see if you see the department name again having a different uh, symbol because it is a calculated column it is a column which is generated in the with the help of the expressions it is not directly pulling from the database so this is how we use it that's it let me go to the design yeah this is the finally now if you wanted to go with it you can make it again still convert to this so this is how we'll see it that's it so thank you for watching so if you like uh, our video please subscribe and uh, uh, do share with all your friends thank you thank you for your uh, time
time. Thank you.